to today's Tuesday tip. Today I'm in Hartford, Connecticut, and I have one of the owners of a property here with me, Sharon Manns. Hi, Vicki. I want to ask Sharon a couple of questions. First of all, Sharon, tell us how long you've been in the business. I've been in the business for 30 years. I've been doing property management for 15. Then I started doing occupancy specialist for another 11, and then I came over to navigate affordable housing for another 10, and now I'm an owner. Oh, great. So she went from managing to owning the golden dream. Sharon, what's one of the hardest or the most difficult part of your job in terms of your managers and compliance? Well, the difficult part is, is, is making sure that they run the reports, making sure that they're in compliance, making sure that they know that they should get themselves ready just as if they have an MOR the next day. That's the difficult part. So it's kind of like REACT. They should always be yeah, ready exactly. for an MOR. Exactly. So as far as EIV, for instance, do you have problems with them following the policies and procedures in your book, or do they just forget to do it sometimes? Are you having any difficulties there? Yeah, I'm having a problem with them following direction in regards to either running the reports quarterly or running the report monthly based on the EIV policy that we have in place. It's difficult, okay. yeah. Do you find that it's more a recertification? vacation time or move-in time or just in general? Just in general. The recertification is great. I think what they fall short of is that when you do the existing tenant search, that they have to make sure that they run for every member that's occupying the unit or coming in to occupy the unit. That's always a problem. They only do the head of household, um, which it's not good because you got to do whoever's occupying a unit. Also, too, is when um, it's not so much the 90-day report. I think it is. It's just remembering that you either have to run the master list, either the four months, if that's what's on your policy, or the monthly report. And that's what I'm having a problem with. Well, great. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. And as we go along, we will be in interviewing other managers to see what your difficulties may be. Because what's a problem to you and a solution that you've solved might be the answer for someone else. So, one other question. Okay. How have you resolved your issue? Well, the resolve issue is I have placed a lot of um, the property managers that I have um, employed by Better Quality Management in various different classes, whether it's a free class or a webinar. These are the, and I also do um, training myself, in-house training, and that it's somewhat helping to solve the problem. As we go forth with our MOR, it's, it's teaching them and showing them the errors of what they're doing in regards to their daily day um, work. Great. So part of the solution is training. The other part of the solution is to just continue to reproduce and go through the process. Right. Thank you, Sharon, for thank joining you, us. Vicky. And thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time on Tuesday Tips. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.